What is it? Baggage I may need to finally face. Let's press on. Stay watchful. Spectres are still drawn to you. Oh, brilliant. You chose the schoolhouse too. Of course. Our last night together. I knew it. And now the question is, how do we reach it? I like your dog. What are you doing? This is Aleja. She is a witch, and she is running away from the Spanish soldiers. She had a horse, but he died. He was an old friend. Maybe we can build her a raft. I'm Anthea. What's your name? To hell with that. Was that an echo? In the void? I don't know, and I don't want to know. What the... Patience, Antea. You know that we have to be twice as good as them to get half of what they have. Ugh. I can't stand anymore. Hi, still impressive. <laughs> I think your mother is jealous of you. I'm better than she was at my age. Of course she is. We could train in secret. Practice when she's not looking. These are memories from my childhood. But why here? Have another in sight. They never learn, do they? Over there, a passageway. The paths form and reform. Your passageway's already gone. This place has a plan for us, and I suspect we may not like it. It's just us here and there. Damn it! The void centers in on us. Perhaps you've been thinking about your past and memories are manifesting. Or the other way around. childhood friend is here. What passed for my friend? Right. 
We leave now. You explain later. banished her without knowing how. Back then I didn't know what she was. She's... it's... Free yourself, Anthea. Let the fire melt your shackles. Careful, Red. It's close. to feel powerless. <laughs> I'll feast on your soul. You won once. Never again. Never again. Come and play, Andrea. Come and play. You will never leave. You can't go round the fire. You must go through. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. No one to play with. No one to talk to. Poor little Antea. Gifted and talented. Constrated. Bound. Abandoned. Go to hell. You're dead. Vain and foolish. And oh, the healing he has done for you. You're a poison to the goodness of your man's heart. This thing serves the Aralu, Red. Don't indulge it. Have you forgotten, Red? Just who you are? Damn you. You want to play, Calendre? Fine. Let's play. Last you visit Calendre, your bestest friend. We are not friends, and your name is not Calendre. Hmm? Perhaps 
I should name myself by what called me to you. Your weariness? Your solitude? Your arrogance? I have just one question. Why me? I had your call. You are such a powerful soul. How could I not answer? How could I not come and play? The shining craving in your heart led the way. All I had to do was follow. All I had to do was take you. You failed. I win. Look at yourself, Antea. Look at the man you love. Look at what you've done to him. Is this victory? There are more of you, aren't there? So what's a manipulative demon like you doing in the Void? Why aren't you out in the incarnate world? Because the woman you are killing for sent me here. Because she banished me. Tell me. Rory of the Clan McRae. When you realize you hardly know the woman you love, how does it feel to learn after all these years together these things she never deigned to tell you? These things that sit brooding at the very center of her soul. My love for her is unconditional. Yes. Your bloodied hands tell the tale. Why'd you lead us here? What do you want from us? Don't humor it, Rory. Careful now. The idea of tearing your precious little pet into pieces just became much more appealing. I'd hate for you to get hurt so fast while you try to save him. But... Oh, wait. You already did that, didn't you? That's enough from both of you. You cannot play your own tricks with me, Kalendre. I am stronger now. So much stronger. <laughs> Bold of you to claim for a very dead banisher. I was a little girl when we met. You used me, manipulated me and made me believe that was love. However arrogant, however angry I was, you changed me, disfigured me. I abandoned my home. I fled from everything and everyone. I thought I had to be alone so that you could never happen again. For that, I forgive myself. But you, Kalendre, no. You I do not forgive. <laughs> what will you do? when you have sacrificed your lover's conscience so to reclaim your body, will you forgive yourself then? I don't need you. I never did. Your tricks don't work on me. Not anymore. I shall not let you go. No. This is my realm now. You sent me here. And now that you have joined me, I shall feed. Then you are still a fool. Antea, Antea. Such a clever girl. So good with words of power. Is that how you seduced your little pet here? And I am the relentless servant of the Queen of Kerr. The hell? Come, stay a while, stay forever. On your feet, Scotsman. I Cheating. 
I'm stronger and faster. I'll destroy you. This feels good. I'll destroy you.
that was something. I never told you the full story. I'm sorry. No need. Please, let's get out of here. Onwards. There's no more time to lose. Is the entire town lost to Ivy? Her influence must still be strong. But, as Charles would say, another day, another soul to save. These people have no idea what they're up against. We really had no idea what we were walking into. You died. Because I was arrogant. I did. And you were. I'm ready to shoot the infested roots after you bruise the heart. For you. Spectre, going for a meat suit. Get lost, won't you? You a lecture on the sanctity of marriage? A pretty word for a set of shackles. I'm sure folk here are just as open minded as Charles. I miss us. 
We'll soon be back. Back together. Always. Forever. I see a light. How? Oh. Esther still be here. Oh, there? Anybody home? What did you say? Oh, don't be silly. We've talked about this before. Esther. Uh, are you here? Are you really here? I am. We are. Have you been here alone all this time? No. Not alone. Charles visits from time to time. We talk. That's not Charles. Charlie had his ascent. Do you remember? Oh, yes. I remember. It's all very foggy. Do we ever mend the wounds of true love lost? Esther, do you know me? And Taya. Yes, I know you. You come to Red as Charles comes to me. How very good of you. Dearest Esther, I died. I am a ghost. You know... I'd have liked to join your games, you three, chasing ghosts and whatnot. I learn fast, but not today. Today feels like a dream. What's happened to New Eden while we were gone? Oh, everyone left. I did not wish to join them. She let me stay. She? Deborah? Speak not her name. It makes her angry. She is much more powerful now and your return has already vexed her. We are not here to vex her, nor to attack her. And Taya just wants what's hers. Last time, Red McGraith, you escaped with your life. Do you think she'll let you do it again? I'm rather hoping she will, I. She knew I'd come back. What else was I gonna do? Which of us has choice when free will is a lie? None has choice. Each is another's glimmer of hope, sparkling futile in the darkness. We're here for Antea's body. This is her tie. And the nightmare has it. Yes. By her body she is held hostage. Her flesh is her tie. Charles told me all about it. We must break the tie to set Antea free. She won't surrender it. You'll have to end her. But if she goes, then Charles goes too. I don't want that. I don't want that at all. What's going on up at the meeting house? I do not ask about the meeting house. And nor should you. To think that once we worshipped there, that Charles would give his sermons there. 
There of all places. What awaits us in the meeting house? You know. You know who awaits you there. Behind the eerie overgrowth. The meeting house is her garden now. Her hate is deeply rooted. And her climbing, crawling creepers reach out across the land. Like the tree of blood that grows from out your heart. All things good and bad have their end. And the meeting house is just a place. We'll go there and find a finish. You're a brave and gentle soul, Red McGraith. I shall remember you when you're gone. If remember I still can. Can we speak of Deborah? Don't say her name. She'll hear you. She'll hear our thoughts. Let her. Truth is not to be feared. Truth is freedom. There's no ending to the story until the truth is told. Red, you are a dear, dear friend. But there is no truth that does not look like a nightmare. And the difference between the two cannot be told. I am a ghost and ghosts do not dream. This is real. We are here and so are you. I promise you. Perhaps none of it is real. Perhaps it is all her dream. Perhaps this is the curse. Aye. And maybe life's a dream, but hell's balls I hope not. New Eden was a dream, you know. A dream of heaven shared by we, its people. But we seem to have brought the nightmare with us. Nothing stands against the truth, and even a nightmare's power must have its limit. And what if the limit is the frontier of New Eden? What if here she is all-powerful and there is no escape? What will pass will pass. And if it does, and we are free, what will you do? I'll away back to London. New Eden is lost now and for centuries to come. Goodbye, Hester. Perhaps we'll meet again. Perhaps we shall. It's so very pleasant to speak to new old friends from time to time. The time. He had in his right hand seven stars. It breaks my heart to see her this way. This is the nightmare's doing. We need to be careful. We're in her stronghold now. <laughs> 